Hi, beautiful people of the Most High God. So the Most High wants me to tell you that some people are cursed by him already and they can't take the curse off of them unless they repent and he removes it off of them and they're going to witch doctors trying to take the curses that God put on them off of them and they're going to all kind of spiritualists and even a Satan to take the curses that he put on them and they can't Satan can't take them off spiritualists can't take them off witch doctors can't take them off of them these curses only can come off of them from God through repentance and he wants me to let you know how people are already cursed um, and they have curses on them instant automatic curses whether they're saved or they're unsaved whether they serve God or they serve God not they're not exempt from being cursed by God for these following things and nothing they do can take away these curses from them unless they repent to God and he shows them mercy or obviously this they get saved by Christ Galatians 3 and 13 Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us for it is written curses everyone that hangs on a tree so now here are the curse like they're cursed already so um malachi 2 and 2 if you will not hear and if you will not lay it to heart to give glory unto my name says the lord of hosts i will even send a curse upon you and i will curse your blessings yeah i have cursed them already because you do not lay it to heart so people are cursed already and they think that someone else is sending them curses or there's some juju or some black magic or something coming to them when it's God who cursed them. Ain't nobody done anything to them. It's because of their own wickedness in the sight of God, what they've done, right? So not giving glory to his name, he cursed you already. Now, curse be the man that makes any graven or molden image an abomination unto the Lord, the work of the hands of the craftsmen, and puts it in a secret place and all the people shall answer and say amen. So you're cursed if you have any graven image. Cursed be he that sets light by his father or his mother, and all the people shall say amen. Cursed be he that removes his neighbor's landmark. So this is curses, automatic curses from God if you do these things. Cursed be he that makes the blind to wander out of the way, and all the people shall say amen. Cursed be he that perverts the judgment of the stranger, fatherless and widow, and all the people shall say amen. Cursed be he that lies with his father's wife because he uncovers his father's skirt, and all the people shall say amen. Cursed be he that lies with any manner of beasts, and all the people shall say amen. So if you do those things, you are cursed by God already. All right? Nobody didn't have to curse you. You cursed yourself. Cursed be he that lies with his sister, the daughter of his father, or the daughter of his mother, and all the people shall say amen. Cursed be he that lies with his mother-in-law. Cursed be he that smites his neighbor secretly. So if you're smiting your neighbor secretly, doing witch work, setting traps for your neighbor, doing evil behind your neighbor's back, God said you're cursed already. Cursed be he that takes a reward to slay the inno an innocent person. So if you take a reward to slay an innocent person, you're cursed already. Cursed be he that confirms not all the words of this law to do them, and all the people shall say amen. So that are automatic curses, people. And for this, I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me, which goes back to... If you will not give glory, and if you will not lay it to heart to give glory unto my name, says the Lord of hosts, I will even send a curse upon you, and I will curse your blessings. Yeah, I have cursed them already, because you lay it not to heart. So, thou shalt not bow down thyself unto them, nor serve them, for I am the Lord your God. I am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto the thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that takes his name in vain. 
Keep the Sabbath day to sanctify it as the Lord thy God has commanded thee. Six days thou shalt labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy maidservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy ox, nor thy ass, nor any cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates, that thy manservant and thy maidservant may rest as well as thou. Remember that thou was a servant, so honor thy father and thy mother. Thou shalt not kill, neither shalt thou commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal, neither shalt thou bear false witness against thy neighbor. Neither shalt thou desire thy neighbor's wife. Neither shalt thou covet thy neighbor's house, his field, or his maidservant, or his man his manservant or his maidservant, his ox or his ass, or anything that is thy neighbor's, thou shalt not covet. So if you do these things, God wants you to know, he cursed you, he did this. And he says in Deuteronomy 28 and 15, but it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now Deuteronomy 28 and 63, and it shall come to pass that as the Lord rejoiced over you to do you good and to multiply you, so the Lord will rejoice over you to destroy you and to bring you to naught, and you shall be plucked off from the land where thou goest to possess it. Now, and if Isaiah 42 and 8, I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory I will not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Malachi 3 and 9, you are cursed with a curse, for you have robbed me, even this whole nation. What does God hate? God hates robbery. Isaiah 61 and 8, for I, the Lord, love judgment. I hate robbery for burnt offering, and I will direct their work in truth and will make an everlasting covenant with them. So you're a robber, you're cursed. Nahum 3 and 1, woe to the bloody city is full of lies and robbery. And God said, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not steal. The prey departs not, Ezekiel 24 and 9, because of the bloody city's robberies and lies. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, woe to the bloody city. I will even make the pile for fire great. Ezekiel 7 and 23, make a chain for the land is full of bloody crimes and the city is full of violence. Now, Zechariah 5 and 4, you already know judgments went out on the thieves, robbers too. I will bring it forth, says the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief and into the house of him that swears falsely by my name. And it shall remain in the midst of this his, his house, and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. Now, Psalms 37 and 22, For such as be blessed of him shall inherit the earth, and they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. He says early he'll destroy the wicked. Now, Psalms 50 and 4, He shall call to the heavens from above, and to the earth that he may judge his people. Psalms 96 and 13. Before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and it, and the people with his truth. What is his truth? His word. Now, you know, the liars, this God tells you what not to do. Revelations 21 and 8. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and the murderers and the whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake of fire, which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So he wants you to know some people are cursed already and they try to blame other people for him cursing them. And they look to other people thinking that someone else cursed them when God is the one who cursed them because of their own deeds whether they repented, well, whether they serve him or whether they serve him not because they don't give glory unto his name and they serve idols. And um, the next video he wants me to put out, I'm not going to add it in this. I'm just going to make a next one. So it's going to come up next is judgments of God upon kingdom, marriage, destroyers, and marriage separators. All right. Um, stay blessed, beautiful people.